story. This is a story. To a hip hop beat. Chronologically and correct. Chronologically correct. It's time to take a ride. Kick reverse on the timeline. Come with me, transport your mind. Circle 1955. The sacrifice for civil rights. In last day. Did you know that they have the courage to fight and stand for 382 days? Check it. Let me take you back, way back over 50 years ago, as a matter of fact. A time when blacks were danger fields, their human dignity was under attack. Separate water, places where you couldn't eat. White man on the bus, yo man, give up your seat. That's what it was all about Fighting prejudice in the dirty old South But this bus thing was pure humiliation A daily symbol of racial segregation Injustice in a very real way Straight black and white, no room for gray Nobody knew that it would happen here But this was the time, this was the year The city, Montgomery, AL the state Rosa the spark, 12-5 the date They sacrifice for civil rights you know that they had the courage to fight and stand for 382 days 274 days before rosa claudette colvin was supposed to give up her seat but she didn't so why not give her an honorable mention? And Mary Lou Smith, she had a bus incident. Refusing to yield, landed her in the pen too. Arrested and fined on 1015, but there was no more crime because the people were tired. And there were many more unsung heroes like Joanne Robinson, who most people don't even know. Worked for years to put a plan in play to challenge the system in a peaceful way. Edgar Daniel Nixon put the key in the ignition. A civil rights maverick in every way It was E.D. Nixon, he showed the way John was prepared to make a change W.P.C. was a women's group name Any sleeping porters in A.A.C.P. They were the groups that changed history So Rosa and her crew were prepared and ready. Their resolve was strong and their leadership was steady. Now it's the first of December, a historic day of change, a day to remember, cause that's the day the Rosa set it off. Set it a day nonviolent resistance would start. Mrs. Rosa Louise Macaulay Parks, queen of the movement, super lady spark. A sacrifice for civil rights in last day. Did you know that they had the courage to fight and stand for 382 days? Here's what happened. Rosa sat on the bus. A white man was standing. Driver James Blake said, get up. She said no. Then the police came. They took her to jail, and that's the start of the game. Start of the game. Next day, WPC boycott. Racism can end. This madness, madness must, must stop. stop. One day set for December 5, the following Monday, the first day of Rosa's trial. And then E.D. got Martin on the phone. Martin, it looks like they just gave us a bomb. So later that night, they met at Martin's church. They all agreed it was time to get to work. Flyers were dropped and pastors used their pulpits. Throughout the land, the word was spread. Monday came and no one rode. Carpools and taxis picked up the load. The sacrifice for civil rights. Did you know that they had the courage to fight and stand for 382 days? Big props to the legal team, Fred D. Gray, Charles D. Langford, Clifford Dewar, the bodyguard, Bobby Williams, all the members of the MIA, the Reverend Ralph David Abernathy, Reverend Elroy Bennett, Rufus A. Lewis, R.J. Glasgow, U.J. Fields. All the ladies behind the scene, Coretta, Scott, King, Mrs. A. 
AWS, Gladys Moore, Yoretta Adair, Johnny Carr, Irene West. to all the churches, Dexter Avenue Baptist Church, the Holt Street Baptist Church, Bethel Baptist, First Baptist, Hutchison Street Baptist, Mount Zion AME, Beulah Baptist, Day Street Baptist, St. John AME, and King Hill Baptist. Did it for me and I did it for you. Big props to Gandhi, Gandhi, the Reverend T.J. Jennison for showing the way in Baton Rouge in 1953, 53, and of course, Martin Luther King. Junior. Junior.